Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today I'm just painting this nail pink before we go and do some wet on wet gel polish designs. These are the five nails that I created using this technique. And if you stay to the very end of the video, you'll see a special dry on dry technique as well. So I'm just going to paint on a second layer of this nude pink polish and I'm not going to cure it. This is a wet on wet design. So we want the base layer of gel to be wet. Okay, so let me just get this nail here ready and I'm going to go ahead and paint on my first pattern. It's a little bit tricky to paint wet on wet, but you soon get the hang of it. I'm doing it in this weird uh, British flag kind of star pattern and then I'll take my small dotting tool and just drag it into a circle spiral thing. You can literally do whatever you want with this technique. These are just some ideas that I gathered. For the second design I'm going to just paint some lines straight down the middle of the nail. As you can see here it, it, this is where I'm struggling to get uh, the wet on wet. It just isn't working very well and I have to go back in with more polish. You do need quite a bit of polish for these um, for this technique. So now I'm just going back and forth. I think this one was my favorite out of all five. I just love the way that it looks. I wish I had taken it a bit further, maybe put a couple more lines on the edges, but uh, you know, I didn't. So this next one, I'm doing pretty much the same kind of design, but I'm, I'm going to go in a different pattern. So I'm doing this kind of bow shaped pattern. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't actually like this one very much, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I could work with it. Maybe it's just the amount of polish I used or something. I don't know. For this design, I really wanted it to look like hearts. So I wanted to drag my thing through this line and create like love hearts. Um, but it didn't really work so then I just kind of dragged out the top bits of what would have been a heart and made this funny little thing which is cool. This one I wanted to do flowers. If you've watched any of my videos you'll know that I flowers are not my forte. So any kind of easier way I have to make a flower I am up for. Um, I did this one a couple of times. I won't show you my failures today because that's a bit boring. But I just did some dragging in and dragging out and then I put these white things on were supposed to be leaves but I don't know and then I put these pink dots and I don't know what I was really thinking here you guys I was just trying to make something out of nothing and then I thought I'll put the opposite color dots in the center of the flowers and I dragged those out into the petals which I wish I hadn't have but Never mind, in the light they go for their cure and then they'll get a little bit of top coat and they're done. So like I said, you could use any kind of dragging pattern for this. I'm sure you could come up with some better designs than me. I'm just getting these ready here for their debut. They do look pretty cool. Um, but the, the dry on dry one, I was doing another video for this, which has been scrapped because it was rubbish. But at the end of that video, I thought, oh, I wonder what it will be like if I just put all kinds of little dots on this nail. Um, <clears throat> and then I just dragged it like I did with the wet on wet, but with no wet polish underneath. And this is the result. And I like really, really love this. It reminds me of like a Aurora Borealis or a sunset or something with a weird colored sky. I'm going to be using this technique for a future video when I do nailscapes because nailscapes are something that was predicted to be popular this year. Um, if you don't know what that is, neither do I really. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do that anyway. So here's the ones that I did before. If you want to see this video, let me know in the comments. I'll dig it out and edit it, but it it wasn't that um, great. So never mind. Here's some videos for you to watch. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.